Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this line. For the line you'll need black, white, yellow, orange and cream, cotton or wool. I like to use four ply crochet cotton. I find it gives me a crisper finish. You'll also need scissors, a crochet hook. I use a darning needle to weave in my ends and a sewing needle and thread to stitch my line together, but you could use your cottons or wool to stitch yours together if you'd prefer. I'm going to start with the head, so I'm using my yellow. I make a magic circle and I work three chain. Now I work 14 double crochet into my circle. Then pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two we start with three chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain. And then we work two double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll complete row two and I'll be back. At the end of row 2 we join with a slip stitch into the third chain. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And then 2 double crochet into the following stitch and we repeat that all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round. So I'll finish this row and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch and then pull our loop out a little bit for the first ear we leave one stitch and join our orange into the following stitch and work one chain and a single crochet into the same stitch. Into the next stitch we work one half double crochet and a double crochet and then a half double crochet and a single crochet into the following stitch and then slip stitch into the same place and fasten off. That's our first ear done. For our second ear we miss 10 stitches and join our orange cotton into the next stitch and work one chain and a single crochet into the same place. A half double crochet and a treble into the next stitch.
a half double crochet, a single crochet and a slip stitch into the following stitch and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in my ends to make it a bit easier to do around the ears. Now my ends are finished off. Now I'm going to work one single crochet around the first ear. I'm using the thread from the head. and then slip stitch into the first stitch of the head and then slip stitch into the next three stitches I think I'll slip stitch into the following stitch so slip stitch into four stitches and then work three chain we're just working this little piece now. Miss one chain and slip stitch into the next chain and then a single crochet into the following chain. Slip stitch into the same place in the head as the last slip stitch. Three more chain. Slip stitch into the second stitch from the hook A double crochet into the third stitch and then slip stitch into the same place as the previous slip stitch and then we slip stitch along to the next ear. And then work one double crochet into, oh sorry, one single crochet into each stitch around the ear. And slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the head finished. Now I'll start with the mane now and my orange and I make a magic loop and three chain and I work 14 double crochet into the loop I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. 
for row 2 we start with 3 chain, work a double crochet into the same place as a chain and then 2 double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work row 2 and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain. For row 3 we start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain. And then we work 1 double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And then 2 double crochet into the following stitch. We'll repeat that all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two into the following stitch all the way round. So I'll do that and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch into the third chain and then start on row four. So we work two chain and one half double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two half double crochet into the following stitch. We're going to repeat that all the way around. So one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two half double crochet into the following stitch. So I'll do that and I'll be back. And we slip stitch into the second chain. For row 5 we start with 4 chain and work 1 treble in the same place as the chain and then we work 1 treble into each of the next 2 stitches and then work 4 chain, slip stitch into the same place as the last treble and then slip stitch into the next stitch and for the next cluster we work 4 chain, 1 treble into the same place and then one treble into each of the next two stitches. Four chain and then slip stitch into the same place as the last treble and then slip stitch into the next and we work that all the way round. So four chain, one treble in the same place and one treble into each of the next two stitches. Four chain and slip stitch into the same place as the last treble and then we slip stitch into the next. So I'll repeat row five and I'll be back. And that's the main finish so I'll fasten that off I'll start on the body now. I start with a magic loop and my yellow and I work three chain and then work four double crochet three treble five double crochet
three treble. And then pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the third chain. For row two we start with three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as the chain. And then we work two double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And now two treble into each of the next three stitches. Now we work two double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And now two treble into the, each of the remaining three stitches. And then slip stitch into the third chain. For row three we start with three chain and we work one double crochet into the same place. And then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two double crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two into the following stitch all the way round. So I'll complete this row and I'll be back. At the end of the row we slip stitch into the third chain 
and then work one chain and we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch around. So I'll complete this and I'll meet you at the end of the row. We slip stitch into the chain and that's our body but we're not going to fasten off. We're going to start on the tail now. We start with 16 chain We miss the first chain and we work one single crochet into each of the next four chain. And now two single crochet into each of the next two chain. Next, one single crochet into each of the next three chain. And now we're going to work two joined single crochet over the next four chain. So pick up a loop from each of the next two and then yarn around and through the two and then repeat that over the next two, two chain and then we work a single crochet into the remaining chain and slip stitch into the body and fasten off For the end of the tail we're going to use orange and we work on the wrong side. We join our orange cotton we work two chain and then three half double crochet into the same place as the chain and then work four chain and turn and slip stitch into the first stitch and then work five chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and then work four chain and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off and there's the body in tail it will just need a little bit of an iron to keep in place. For the front legs I start with six chain and my yellow I miss the first three chain and work one double crochet into the next three chain For row 2 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the, first, the 3 double crochet.
for row 3 I start with 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet into each of the double crochet and a double crochet into the top of the 3 chain. So I've got 4 double crochet now. For row 4 I start with 3 chain and turn and I'm going to work a double crochet into each of the 4 double crochet and a double crochet into the top of the 3 chain. The next row I work 3 chain and turn and work a double crochet into each double crochet and a double crochet into the top of the 3 chain. I've now done 5 rows and I've got my 3 chain and 6 double crochet. I'm going to work another row of 3 chain and turn and 1 double crochet into each of the 6 double crochet. And that's the front leg. I'll fasten off. I'll need two front legs. For the claws, I join in the first stitch. And work three chain. I work one double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and one double crochet into the next stitch and work three chain and slip stitch into the same place as my last double crochet and then slip stitch into the next stitch and work three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as the chain and a double crochet into the next stitch and then three chain slip stitch into the same place as my last double crochet and slip stitch into the next stitch and then work another one of three chain a double crochet into the same place as the chain and a double crochet into the next stitch, three chain and slip stitch into the same place as the double crochet and fasten off. And that's the front leg and pause. I'll do the back claws now. I start with a magic loop and work three chain and then work two double crochet and work three chain, slip stitch into my circle, three chain, two double crochet,
thread chain and slip stitch into the circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. And you'll need two of those. For the muzzle I'm using cream and I make a magic circle and work two chain and then three half double crochet into the circle. And then one double crochet one treble, one double crochet, four half double crochet, one double crochet, one treble, and one double crochet. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the second chain. For row two we start with one chain and work a single crochet into the same place and then work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. Into the next stitch we work one single crochet and one half double crochet. Into the following stitch we work one double crochet and one treble and then in the next we work one treble and one double crochet. and then one half double crochet and one single crochet and one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and then a single crochet and a half double crochet into the next a double crochet and a treble into the following stitch a treble and a double crochet in the following and into the last we work a half double crochet and a single crochet and join with a slip stitch into the first chain And that's the muzzle done. I'll fasten off. For the nose I'm using black. I start with a magic loop and work two chain and work a joined half double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and fasten off. And I've got a little, a little triangle. For the inner eyes I'll need two. 
I start with a magic loop and one chain and I work four single crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. and fasten off. For the inner eyes I'm using white. I make a magic loop and two chain and work eight half double crochet into my circle. Pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the second chain. And fasten off. I'll need two of those. Now I'll weave in my ends and I'll make another front leg, back paw and set of eyes and I'll be back to put it together. Now I'm going to attach my inner eyes to my outer eyes just with the black part to the bottom of the white like that. I'll attach my nose To the muzzle. The little pointy part goes just over the centre circle and I'll also embroider in the little mouth. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Now I attach the muzzle to the face. It goes along the bottom evenly and I'll attach the eyes. I'll also attach the back claws. They just go a bit under the tail and just sit out just a tiny bit. Just like that. So I'll attach those and I'll be back. Now I'm going to attach the head to the mane just in the middle like that and the legs to the body. They just go over the, the back paws just like that and up to the top. So I'll stitch them on and I'll be back. Now there's the head attached to the mane and the legs to the body. Next I just attach the head to the body just about there. I'll attach it along the front and then I'll secure it along the back. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finish line. And there's the finish line. If you enjoy my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.